Hello, my name is Doug from Claremont County Public Health, and today we're going to look at a leach line system that's been installed within the last five years. You can see that we have tanks that have risers and lids to the surface. You always want to make sure that the lids are secured, either with hardware or if you have a concrete tank, you want to make sure that that concrete lid is intact and is well maintained, and that prevents unauthorized access to the tank which is a very serious issue. With your tanks also, you wanna make sure that you keep any uh, landscaping around them mowed to a normal height. As you can see around these tanks, the grass is mowed and we don't have any large landscaping items that would block access for maintenance or repair of the tank. And then we have the leach line field, which you can see in the distance. And the leach lines accept the septic tank effluent from the tank and allow it to soak slowly into the ground and over those leach lines you don't want to see any kind of play sets erected basketball hoops fence posts you don't want to sink anything into the ground over the leach lines you want to keep the grass cut at a normal height and keep the landscaping cut away you don't want uh, any big stuff growing on your leach lines because those large plants the roots can get down into the leach lines and cause issues with the water soaking into the ground. And in the leach lines on this system, they have what we refer to as drop box lids, which are square lids. And you wanna make sure those are in place as well, because if they're not, then they will allow dirt and debris to get into the system and cause issues with the leach lines. Also with the leach line system, you wanna make sure that you're not driving any kind of heavy equipment, such as heavy wheeled tractors, or bulldozers or anything like that over the system. Normal lawn mowers, zero turn mowers, that sort of thing are fine. But if you start getting into uh, the heavier farm tractors, you do not want to be driving those over your leach lines. Other than that, that's kind of a quick introduction to a more modern leach line system with a modern tank and a modern installation of the leach lines. And if you have any questions, you can visit our website at www.ccphohio.org. Thank you.